She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad to features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to me You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, yeah, yeah Yo, what's going on YouTube? Back with another video. Finally, finally dropped the header video you guys been wanting. I did end up going with the 2J Racing headers. They sound amazing in my opinion. They're so worth the money. It's not that hard to put on. Let's get right into the installation. First step on removing the headers is a super simple step. You just gotta remove four 12 millimeter bolts. It is this bracket that's right under the mid pipe. You do gotta remove three of them. But for right now, let's remove this one. Uh, you got this 10 millimeter bolt holding that bracket. Just pop it off. And you have two 12 millimeter bolts that's holding on the mid pipe to the headers. You were like, hello, hello, hello. And I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm used to flying solo, solo, solo. I'm in trouble now. I'm in trouble now. Now I'm singing like, oh la 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 la. Next step is you got to remove the rear end of the mid pipe, two exhaust hangers and two 12 millimeter bolts, and of course the two brackets that are held up by the four 12 millimeter bolts. So on the very last bracket there is these two annoying little screw type clips. Just got to get a big screwdriver, unscrew it to the most it can and then just pull it down as you're unscrewing. Once you get the mid pipe off, there is three bolts that are holding the top of the heat shield and three bolts that are holding the bottom of the heat shield. See there's a little sneaky bolt back there. Just use a 10 millimeter wrench and you should be fine. Once you remove those six 10 millimeter bolts, you move to the top of the engine and remove the O2 sensor. You just pull it out and unclip it. Also, just a quick tip, if you want to get a, a better angle at those headers, remove the under cover of the engine. It's about 12 clips. Pops out really easy, pops back in really easy. So that'll make your life way easier. These next two nuts that you have to remove, they are on brackets. One is the upper bracket and one is the lower bracket for the headers. Just crack them loose with the wrench and then take them off by hand. This is the other lower bracket. Once those both brackets are removed, you can remove that bottom heat shield. You just wiggle it out and it'll come right out. You will need a double extension swivel socket. It needs to be 12 millimeter. There's seven nuts that you do need to remove to remove those headers. Just as a quick reference, here are the seven locations of the seven nuts you do need to remove. Once you got those seven nuts removed, the headers just wiggle out. You gotta be careful because it's a very tight spot, but it's manageable. You just gotta snake it in and out and eventually they will come out. Next, you just gotta get an O2 sensor socket. Loosen it up. Make sure you put some WD right before you do it just in case so it won't strip. And put it on the brand new 2J header exactly how you wiggle it out now you got to wiggle it back in you got to be careful with that o2 sensor wire make sure you don't uh, put pressure on it or clip it by any you know heat shield that is around 
it is kind of difficult but just be patient with it if you're not patient you know you can damage that o2 sensor once you line up the 2j racing headers with the studs you can start putting all 12 millimeter bolts once you have them all hand tightened you will need a triple extension of a 12 millimeter deep socket and just hand tighten them all the way as you can make sure they're snug and once they're snug pass it about 45 degrees more and you should be good This is how the header should look once you tighten all seven nuts. Before you do install the mid pipe, you gotta make sure to install that defouler where the O2 sensor originally goes. That will avoid you getting that check engine light. It's just a quick demonstration how I'm doing it. It's pretty easy. Just gotta make sure that the wires are pretty loose and not tight. And you do not wanna rip this wire. On to the last step of installing the headers, you gotta reinstall the mid pipe. Super simple, it does come with 14 millimeter bolts. You do not use the original bolts that were on there. 2J Racing does provide you with 14 millimeter bolts. Just snug them tight with the impact or electric handgun, or even if you have a, a regular hand tool, you can do that. Make sure you put all the three brackets that are on there, and she's good to go.